Tonight, a father is demanding answers after he says his son was kicked off a school bus and forced to walk home, all for what appears to be a technicality. Larry Seward is live in Cyprus with the exclusive story. Larry? Mia, those SciFair ISD school buses behind me, they have ID card scanners on there for students to make sure the students that ride actually belong there. It is a safeguard that one dad tonight claims failed his son. He's sweating because he had to walk home from school. Ernest Charles IV came home late, sweaty, and left out. Instead of riding the bus home, he walked nearly two miles from school. And this retired Marine ranting on his phone. Very, very unacceptable. Is far from happy. There was supposed to be somebody to look out for Ernest and the rest of the students, you know, prior to all the buses leaving. And somebody didn't do their job. Ernest Charles III doesn't suffer foolishness. Do y'all have any tests this week? He's a hardcore stay-at-home staff sergeant. If I get in trouble, then he makes me do push-ups. Demanding discipline from and safety for his sons. It's why they moved from California into Sci Fair, where schools offer secure bus transportation. It gives me a peace of mind knowing that my son is able to ride the bus and he's being accounted for. But after final period Monday, this Cy Spring sophomore tried to get on his bus, but his ID card required to board wouldn't scan. He claims the driver he sees every day then told him to walk. The bus driver told me I had to get another ID the next day, which was $5. And I told her I was a student that rode the bus since the beginning of the year. And she told me that I still had to walk home. SciFair administrators first heard about what happened from us and say they're looking into it. They also told us district policy allows students with ID problems to get temporary replacements from the office the same day and catch a late bus home. Have you ever seen that happen to other kids on the bus? Yes. Administrators say no student should ever be forced to walk home. Charles never wants his kid left out again. Ernest Charles IV had no trouble riding the bus today. And while his dad says he does not want trouble for the bus driver, he does want an explanation. We are live in the Northeast Harris County. Larry Seward, KJU 11 News. Thanks, Larry. Hope they get it worked out. We're learning.